I had to make a video about this, you guys. I had to. Sup, y'all. ASD Classified here. So, I decided to take a break from my studies to make this video. For those of you who don't know, I'm in law school right now. So, that's why I haven't been really making videos on this channel because law school takes up so much of my time. So much of it. But, um, I decided to take a break from my studies to make this video or procrastinate from my studies to make this video however you want to look at it but I'm making this video because yesterday a teaser trailer came out regarding the Power Ranger movie that will air March 24th 2017 and um well, let me control myself okay <laughs> the trailer the teaser trailer it was really good it was really fucking good it just it brings a tear to my eye it brings tears to my eyes. Like, I am just... I'm so glad that the trailer looks good. Like, the movie may be really good. I just... Huh. <laughs> okay. I'm so glad. Like, I'm not gonna say anything really different from what I already tweeted about yesterday, but pretty much, I mean, this teaser, it lets us know that this movie is not going to be on some kitty shit. Like, <laughs> this is not made exclusively for five-year-olds or anything. Like, no, this movie has some depth, baby. Like, this movie, the tone of it, like, adults can get into this. And I am so glad. Like, this movie, like, the Rangers, they're not perfect people. They going through a whole lot of shit. Like, they're being bullied. Like, Jason going through all a bunch of shit with his dad. Like, he's arguing with his parents parents and shit like apparently he did some terrible thing or something or he made a mistake that any young teenager would make because he's young and stupid I don't know that's what it seems like and I'm here for it because yeah if you watch Mighty Morphin you know those teens were perfect perfect all the time and this is a change that I can get behind I don't need my heroes to be super duper perfect and from this teaser they're not so Good job. So, since I loved it so much, I might as well talk about what I didn't like. Because there's not really much I didn't like, so I might as well just get it out the way. So, in the trailer, we see the Rangers at this, I don't know, abandoned area or something. And Billy blows up the abandoned place like with some dynamite or something. I don't know. Explosives? I don't know. I don't know where he got the stuff from. I don't know. Whatever. Billy blows up the place and out of the rubble and ashes, the rangers discover the power coins. And I saw on Twitter, like, people were saying that Rita is apparently supposed to be, like, buried in this place too. So when Billy blew it up, they not the rangers not only discovered the power coins, they also unleashed Rita. Now that... <laughs> That's interesting. I like that. I'm not talking about that. What I'm getting to is that when Billy and the other Rangers discovered the Power Coins, they bonded with the Power Coins. And through bonding with the Power Coins, they gained super strength unmorphed. Like, they have super strength without morphing. So the Rangers go to school the next day and stuff, and they're walking around being mini Luke Cages and shit, and it's just, mm. like Billy, he's bullied, right, and his bully tries to pick a fight with Billy, and the bully tries to headbutt Billy, and it doesn't work out for him, like the bully just gets fucked up in the head, like the bully might have brain damage and shit, it's like, <laughs> okay, <sighs> the Rangers have super strength. Without being morphed. Um, okay, civilian powers. Now, civilian powers, they're not new to Power Rangers. They're not new at all. Um, the Disney season gave us many Ranger teams that had X-Men abilities. Like, <laughs> it's not new, but um, this movie is based off of Mighty Morphin. Mighty Morphin? Mighty Morphin <sighs> Martial Arts. Martial Arts was a very, very important, significant aspect of 
Mighty Morphin. It, it was very important. Martial arts. Very important. So now, this movie has decided to give the Rangers super strength. <laughs> Unmorphed super strength. Oh! <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Here's the thing. I'm not that upset that they gave the Rangers super strength. Whatever, okay? My issue is if they have super strength, do they also magically know how to fight? That's my issue with this. I don't want the power coins to magically make them know how to fight and do all the martial arts moves in the world. No, 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 no. In Mighty Morphin, the Rangers taught themselves how to fight. Whether they had those powers or not, they knew how to fight. That w was very important to Mighty Morphin. It's part of the reason why I really love Mighty Morphin to this day. Because the Rangers taught themselves how to fight. Like Jason knew martial arts and he taught Kimberly and Zack how to fight. And he probably gave Pornus to Trainee. I feel like Trainee probably learned somewhere else, you know, Kung Fu and stuff. But Train, but you know, Jason, he taught karate a lot and he taught you know he had a whole class and it was inferred and you could infer that Kimberly and Zach learned stuff from Jason and in the first episode of Mighty Morphin Billy enrolled in a martial arts class to learn from Jason so it was like the Rangers they taught each other how to fight you know they studied the stuff they didn't just gain the ability to fight when Zordon gave them the power coins and the morphers like that's not what happened they knew how to fight the Morpher just gave them super strength and it gave them body armor to protect themselves. That's what the powers do. But they knew how to fight. You know, they just needed the powers to fight a monster that's stronger than your average putty. But with or without those powers, they could fight. You know, and I love that aspect. And I don't want the movie to necessarily change that. You know, you know what I mean? But okay, here we are. The Rangers, they have super strength. Now, even though they have super strength, they still could have a background of martial arts. Like, I, I don't need all of the Rangers to have a background on martial arts. Like, I would like if Jason still had a background on martial arts, or maybe Zack does, or both of them. So, when all the Rangers gain, you know, their super strength or whatever, like, Jason or Zack could still, you know, give pointers to the others. Like, okay, this is how we can best utilize our super strength. Like, that... I would like to see. I really don't want it to be, oh, I bonded with my power coin, so now I know how to magically fight and I don't need to study anything. I don't want that. I really don't want that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, moving on to Billy. So, Billy in the trailer we saw is bullied. I don't mind that at all because Billy was bullied in Mighty Morphin. The thing that kind of irks me here is that Billy was bullied by Bulk and Skull. Now, we already knew that Bulk and Skull were not going to be in this movie, but if you're going to keep the same plot line of Billy is bullied, why not just have Bulk and Skull do the bullying? I don't get why you would switch Bulk and Skull out for some random bully. Just keep the bullies that we know. Bulk and Skull, I feel, are as important to Power Rangers as Power Rangers. So I don't get... <laughs> why would you get rid of them? Like, Bulk and Skull were around longer than most Power Rangers. Why would you get rid of them? I don't get that. And you can't tell me that Bulk and Skull would not have fit well with the tone of this movie. Bulk and Skull in Season 1, they were assholes. They were awful human beings. They used to bully Billy all the time. They would pick fights with Jason and Zack. They would sexually assault Kimberly and Trini. They were assholes. They didn't become likable, really, until, like, season two and beyond. But season one, those, those motherfuckers, like, <laughs> they will fit in just fine with this movie. I just, I don't get the switch. But whatever. Billy being bullied, cool. Trainee is also apparently bullied. <laughs> apparently. Like, they had a scene in the trailer where somebody had wrote on her locker, like, you know, kill yourself, bitch, or, like, die or something. Like, go die. Nobody will miss you. It's like... Damn, that's a little dark. It's like, I just want to pull Trini aside, man. It's like, girl, we've all been there. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Don't let these people kill you. You kill them by staying alive and being successful. Fuck them hoes. Like, man, Trini going through it, and I'm ready for it. Like, I like that plot. It's interesting. Next, let's talk about Rita for a moment. So, there was a part of the trailer where Rita shows up in Trainee's 
boudoir and um <laughs> Rita's just there and she says like I've killed rangers before let me tell you something the Power Ranger fandom lost their damn minds over that line. They're like, oh my god, wait a minute. Rita talking about killing people. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, Rita is here, man. She is here to murder you hoes. I know, I heard that line. I'm like, okay, Rita. Bust the move. Bust the motherfucking move, Rita. Come on. <laughs> like, Rita did not come to play with these hoes. I'm ready. I will say this, though. I personally... I didn't get super hyped over that line like a lot of Power Ranger fans did. Only because in the trailer, it seems like it just comes out of nowhere. It's like, I don't know, it wasn't like a, it didn't come off natural to me. I don't know, I feel like if I would have heard like a few more lines in that scene, then I could have got it. Like, if the scene went like, um, oh, Trainee, you think you're so great with that power coin. I've killed plenty of rangers in my time. You're nothing, bitch. Like, if it was more lines, then I can get it. But <laughs> as that scene went that they showed us, like, what they showed us, it just went like, hey, training, I've killed rangers before. It's like, okay, and? Like, bitch, get out of my room. I'm trying to sleep. We can fight in the morning. It's, like <laughs> it's just so random. Like, hey, training, I've killed people before. Okay, like what? Where's the build up? What led to this line? I I just need a little more to make the line better for me. But I recognize that this is nitpicking. <laughs> so I let it go. The line is still important because it's just one of those things that shows us, yeah, these villains, these villains are here to kill motherfuckers. They're not playing games. This Rita is not the type of Rita that's going to send the putties to steal Kimberly's homework to ruin her day or something. No, this Rita is not petty. This Rita is just trying to murder you. <laughs> There's nothing else. This Rita is not turning you into a pachinko ball. She's not turning you into a brick. She's just going to murder you. Also, the scene with Rita being in training's room, it also shows just how more competent this Rita is than her television counterpart because, you know, in the television show, Rita and Lord Zed knew where the Rangers lived, knew their identities, but never attacked them in their homes at night where they're most vulnerable. Never did this. Meanwhile, movie Rita is sneaking up in your room, filling up all on you and stuff. Like, <laughs> I, I love this. I love this. She, this Rita is not dumb. Like the Rangers, oh, okay, they're in their most vulnerable place and they're asleep. Let me just come up in here and try to, you know, levitate over you and try to choke you in midair and shit. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's talk about the most important part of this trailer. Kimberly and Jason hook up. <laughs> like, um... <laughs> what? Oh my god. They put Kimberly and Jason together. Like, there is a scene with Jason and Kimberly in a bedroom at night kissing each other. Um, <laughs> what's going on here, guys? I just, <laughs> oh my God. Those two hooking up? Wow. Wow. Okay. So we have got to have a sequel. We have got to make sure that this movie is financially successful so that we can get a sequel and have Tommy come in and shut all this shit down. Like Tommy is just going to come in and be on that Mr. Stereo girl shit. He's just going to take Kimberly away. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. The sequels. All the sequels are going to be so good. Oh my God, it's going to be a love triangle and shit and so much drama. Like, Jason, I mean, Tommy's going to come in, take Jason's girl, and take his leadership role. <laughs> Not just take the leadership role, but take your girl. <laughs> God damn, what? Why are they setting up Jason like this? They setting up Jason for failure, man. Oh, man, look. Jason, you better get it in while you can. You better get it in as many times as you can while you can. Because once Tommy comes in, oh, it's over. The, the teaser trailer, 
<laughs> it didn't really show much about ranger powers. I mean, the rangers have super strength, but it didn't show like them morphing or anything. It showed, it teased, mm, it teased Jason morphing a little bit, but it didn't show like actual like ranger suit action and summoning no weapons, it's summoning no swords. We didn't see no swords. We didn't see Zordon. We didn't see Alpha. You know, we just saw a little bit, but it's a teaser trailer. Like, you know, we're going to get other teaser trailers that will showcase that and we'll get real trailers. So, you know, this first teaser trailer it did its job it did its job well it got me hyped for the movie it showed me like a little bit about the movie like what the tone of the movie is going to be and i'm i'm ready for it it's done changes i like it's done changes that i'm not so sure about but whatever i am ready to see this movie i am ready to spend my coins i've been ready to spend my coins on this so whatever so if you're watching this video what did you think about the teaser trailer that came out did you like it did you hate it did you think it was meh let me know in the comments if you would be so kind and i need to get back to studying so yeah jamata later guys